Alright, let's get started in child pose. Big toes touch, knees go wide. Hands spread out in front of you, pressing firm hands in the earth. Start to ignite your ujjayi breath here. Ujjayi breath builds heat in your body. Why keep your body warm while we're stretching this much? So in through your nose, close off your mouth, and out through your nose. Two more here, inhale. And exhale. And the next thing we want to tabletop position. Find some organic movement here to the public cat cows. You can sway your hips back and forth. Push one leg back and the other, whatever feels comfortable for you. Good. Take two more breaths on your own here. And then meet me in neutral tabletop. Take a few breaths together, inhale, and exhale, flip your toes and send your hips up, down, and face the First down dog of the day. So take some movement, cuddle out your feet, drag your tail, feet in between your knees, push so firmly at your forearms at night. Good. Inhale, lengthen through the spine, and exhale, send your hips a little bit higher. Inhale, come up on your tiptoes, raise your heels, and exhale, come up to the mat. Inhale, lift the bottom mat, and exhale, melt. One more time, inhale, and exhale, melt. Good. Take about eight steps to reach the top, and the feet reach the top of your hands, preparing for ragdoll pose. And your hip, your feet hip distance apart. Grab opposite elbows and let your head hang down. And your hands hang down. And your feet together. And slowly roll up, feeling one vertebrae at a time. You have 28 vertebrae. Feel everyone all the way up to some of the CTP standing at attention, hands at heart center, and close your eyes. So here's where you're going to pick something or someone to dedicate your practice to. You just think about that the entire time so that way you don't lose focus. If you ever do lose focus, come back to your breath. Good. Take two more breaths on your own here. One more inhale, and exhale, let your eyes open, mountain pose, tadasana, hands come up overhead, grind down through both of your feet, melt your shoulders back and back, and gaze forward. This is a strong pose, a foundational pose, so make sure your kneecaps lift up off your thighs. And that's nice strong pose. One more inhale here. And exhale, hands move your heart center forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, place your hands on your shins. You want to make a letter or number set in out there. Make sure your shoulders melt down the back and crown of the head. Inhale, and exhale, fold. Okay, move up one more time. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, plant your hands, step back for high point and fold. Shoulders stacked over wrists. Up from the tiptoes, ignite the energy to the up back of your heels. One more inhale. And exhale, shift forward. Come down halfway so your elbows graze with your ribs. Inhale, upward facing dog. Flip the toes. And exhale, downward facing dog. Oh, so the hips high. Now we're going to flow through our Sunday two more times. One more time. So inhale, look forward. Step, meet your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. 
that's so beautiful. Inhale, mountain pose, rise up, Tadasana. That's so beautiful. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chowder, lift, Tadasana, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. One more time. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, rise up to Asana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chatter, up and Asana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down. One more together. Calm down the breath. Calm down the heart rate. Inhale. Oops. Inhale, look to the top of your space. Exhale, set in the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, fold. Inhale, chair pose, sit low. Goal here is to look like a lightning bolt. So send your tailbone down. Belly in, spine. Good. You want the shoulders to back. Inhale. You have me from the start. Inhale. And exhale, release forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chatter, rhythm, Asana, active, lift. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Inhale with your right leg high. Exhale, step it through to low lunge. Inhale, pivot your back foot so it's parallel to the back of your mat. Rise up, warrior two, and hold. Good. Gaze into the front middle finger. Foundation into the feet, so press firmly to the back and edge of your foot. Make sure your shoulders and hips are squared to the front of your feet. Two breaths here, inhale. And exhale, so move. Inhale. Inhale, reverse your warrior, and fold. This is a right side body stretch. Maintain the front lunge, and still pressure the outside, knife edge in the back foot. Good. Inhale. And exhale, deeper. Good. Inhale, stretch, right body stretch. Good. And exhale, cartwheel your hands down, try to the mouse and the to the back. Upward facing dog, exhale down with the facing dog. Good. Inhale, left side, left leg high. Exhale, go lunge. Inhale, pivot your back foot down, rise up, warrior two. Inhale, same thing, let's go to the other side, make sure everything is aligned. Back to the next one. Give your front foot in there. And now reverse your warrior. Right hand and rest either lightly on your back leg or take a And now left side body stretch. One more inhale. And exhale, cartwheel your hands down, tie around and fasten your head to the head. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, same thing. Now we're going to move one back to one movement two more times through our sun beat. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step into your knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, sit low, fasten your Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chatter up and passing. Tie to lift. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, turn around. Good. Inhale, with your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, 
Inhale, warrior two, rise up. Exhale, reverse the other way. Reverse the other way. Stay through your inhale. And exhale, the other way. Get the thousand chatter. I'm going to toss my hat to the Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg high this time. Exhale, go foot. Inhale the blade to rise up. Stay for an inhale. And for an exhale. Inhale, reverse the blade. Exhale, try to knee. Pass to the Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Last time, inhale, look forward. Exhale, meet your hands. Inhale, half the lift. Exhale, lower fold. Inhale, chair, go to the lowest one yet. Sit low. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chatter, and then bounce. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, go lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, reverse your weight. Exhale, shatter up with the last one. High to the foot. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Last time, inhale, left leg high. Exhale, little lunge. Inhale, warrior two, rise up. Stay at your hips. Inhale, reverse your weight. Exhale, tire up with the last one. High to the foot. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog and hold. Notice your breath here. If your heart rate's up a little bit, take deeper inhales. And you want to match your exhales. One more inhale here. And exhale. Inhale, with your right leg high. Exhale, go lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge, rise up and pause. So, in the line of energy for your back heel, right knee stacked over right ankle. Good. Liana Banda, belly to spine, and melt the shoulders back. Inhale, and exhale, hands come to your heart center. Inhale, hinge forward and revolve crescent to the right. Left elbow is outside the right knee. Kill is going to demonstrate the modified position too, so drop down to your back knee. Good. If that feels good for you, you can. If staying up on your feet is more of a challenge for you, that's totally fine too. But just know when you drop down to your knee, it does engage the twist more, which is what we want to. Press your hands firmly into your chest, thumbs into your chest. One more inhale. And exhale, release, runner's lunge. Non-active runner's lunge. So go down, go ahead and drop down to your back knee. Totally your right foot out to the edge of the mat. Good. And stay here. This is an extreme hip opener. So please don't hurt yourself. Just stay exactly where you are and where you need to be. Two more breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Tuck your back toes under. Set your right leg up and back for three legs. Go ahead and bend your knee and open up your hip if that feels good to you. And back to three legs. Inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Good. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, left foot meets your right before we fold. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Good. Let's reset the spine. Big movement here. So inhale, ground down through the right leg and send your left foot up for one leg to awesome. 
hands at heart center, or you can have your hands up, whichever looks comfortable for you, and it's a balancing series, so make sure when you are doing this video, anything that you see in front of you isn't moving, it's going to be way easier to focus on something that is still. Good. Inhale. Good. Notice how Kayla's leg is at 90 degree angle, and she's flexing her toes back towards her shins. Inhale. And slowly bend the right knee, exhale, send your left leg back for crescent lunge. Good. Push it back a little bit, perfect. Inhale here, and exhale, send your hands down for the lunge. Spider tip your fingers, and then send your right leg up and back for three legged dog. Good. And up. Good. Left side this time. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, rise up, crescent, and pause. Good. Same thing again on the other side. Let's just have a lot of energy for the back heel. Right knee stacked over, or left knee rather, start step over the left heel. Good. Inhale, and exhale, hands come through heart center. Inhale, hinge forward, and revolve, press it to the left this time. Right elbow comes outside of the left knee. Good. So anytime you want to deepen your twist, remember you can always back down to that knee. Inhale here, and exhale, twist. Good. One more inhale, and exhale, twist. Good. Inhale. And exhale, release to run this lunge. Toe heel the left foot out this time. Drop down to the right knee. Good. And stay here. We've got three to five breaths. As many as you can. Just stay here and breathe. Remember to send all of your breath to your hips. That's where we hold a lot of our stress. Good. Two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Bring it up here. And exhale. Inhale, up to the back, tuck your toes. And send your left leg up and back for three of the top. Pause here, bend the knee if you need to. And we go to dog. Inhale. And exhale, knee to nose. So curl up as much as you can, perfect. Inhale, left leg long. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, right leg meets left leg for forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Beautiful. Reset the spine. Preparing for this big jump. Inhale. One leg is best, and the left leg is our foundation this time. Right leg comes up. Now you your angle. And left toes. Same thing here. Three breaths. Make sure you focus on something that isn't moving. Again, that's going to help you a lot. Good. One more inhale here. And so we'll start to bend the left knee and send the right leg back for crescent lunge. Inhale. One more inhale and then send the hands down for the lunge. And then left leg up and back as you lay dog and downward facing dog. Great here. Start to slow down the breath. We're reaching the end to our surrender series. But not quite. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step and meet your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Put the on the sit low and pause. Preparing for vertical twist to the right. Just make sure our knees stay aligned. It's going to be the hardest part when you're at home by yourself and don't have even there to align you. So you're going to send your right 
arm up or down and back, and you're going to turn to the right. Put the tailbone down just a little bit. Yeah. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, twist. Good. One more inhale, and then stay with your abs. Good. It's going to be a child move part, so inhale, chair, go to the low, we're almost there. And exhale, vertical twist to the left. Good. So move down, watch the knees, and get perfect. Always check yourself. It's okay to check yourself, and it's okay to record yourself and watch yourself to make sure your environment is good. Inhale, lengthen through the spine, and exhale, twist. Good. One more. Inhale, and exhale, twist. Good. Inhale, rise all the way up, not the toes, release. Good. And exhale, forward fold. Hands to heart center. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chatter, and really fast in the high to low. Upward facing dog, exhale downward facing dog. Good. Take a moment here. That was a challenging and long time sitting in the squat position, so notice your heart rate. Good. When you're ready, look forward and hang forward to high plank and hold. Good. One inhale here. And exhale, lower all the way down, preparing for cobra pose, Ujjayasana. Hands remain under, stacked underneath your shoulders, just like cricket arms. Uh, top of the feet are resting on the mat, sit up the legs. Good. And this is cobra pose for obvious reasons, because when you exhale all over here, inhale, rise up, you look at the cobra. So let's go ahead and exhale everything, let it all go. And inhale, lift your chest. Good. Little to no weight in the hands. Good. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, relax. Left cheek to the mat. Good. Arms down by your side, palms face up. And relax the heels out to get released the lower back. This is a lot of tension on the back, then please don't do it. There's other other thing, ways we can stretch out the back than both of those. Our next big spine is going to be floor bow. So inhale, chin back to center. Bend your knees and grab the outside of either your ankles, your shins, your toes, whatever you can reach. If you cannot reach any, please bring a strap. Um, the way that that would work is you take the strap and wrap it around, and then somebody will hand it to you, or you can grab it yourself. Perfect. So exhale, all air, let go. And inhale, rise up, kicking the feet into the hands. Good. You're going to use this beautiful tear drop shape that Kayla has formed. One more inhale. And exhale, release, right cheek to the mat this time. Gaze left, palms face up, knees, and heels go up. Right here. Just take a moment to release the lower back. Good. Go ahead and bend your knees and then show up your lower feet. That will also give your lower back a nice massage. And when you're ready, inhale, shin back to center and push up to tabletop position. And make your way to your seat the best way you can. Let's go long out in front of you. For Pashmakasana, seated forward fold. So this one, we want to make sure we're on our six bones. Bend your knees as much as you need to, because we will release and keep the legs straight in just a moment. But bend your knees so you can inhale, arms go up high. Hinge forward with a nice flat back. Peace fingers are around, around your toes. Good. Good. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, melt a little bit closer. Good. And now, if you want to, you can put it at least and just relax all the way. 
Okay. You ready? Put it all the way up. Engaging the abs. Place your palms out in front of you. Face up and lay all the way down. Okay. Preparing for Supervivalasana. So soles of the feet come together. Knees all wide. One hand in front, one hand in front. And just breathe here and notice your breath. Relax the mind. We have finally reached our surrender series. One more thing to up here. And help grab both outside of your knees and guide them back together. Give yourself a nice big hug. Both knees come into the chest. Good. Relax the neck and extend the left leg long. Up with your right leg up into your right armpit as much as you can. Massaging the knees and pulling. It's going to help release any toxins in your body that you pull all throughout the day. One more big stroke up into the armpit and supine your twist over to the left side. Extend your right leg, right arm, and right or left arm long and gaze over to the right. The goal here is to not get the knee to touch the ground, it's to stack the hips. If you feel it stretch halfway, that's fine. It does not need to go all the way over. Inhale back to center, give yourself one another big hug. And this time we're going to extend the right leg long and hug the left leg up into our armpit as much as we can. Massage on the descending cord. One more big hug up into the armpit, and then shift all the your leg over to the right side. Gaze to the left this time. Good. And same thing, notice how heels, the hips are stacked. It does not need to be completely turned. You want to make sure everything is nice and even in one line. Okay, and now come back to center. Give yourself one last final hug, the biggest hug ever given yourself. Simulating the thyroid and bringing the chin to the chest. Good. And release the final shavasana. For one minute, I will pull you out of this. Relax everything, let your feet go wide, take up as much space as you need to. Relax the jaw, relax the tongue from the top of the roof of your mouth. And breathe here. If you're ready to move on the rest of your day, go ahead and start to bring some life back to your body. Let's start with the toes and the fingers. And when you're ready, you lift your arms up over, the, over your head, like getting up in the morning. Nice big stretch. Bend your knees. And you're going to shift your way over to the right or left, whatever you're comfortable with, and using whichever arm from the bottom as a pillow. This position represents new beginnings. So this is a new beginning for your work day, for just your regular week day, whatever you're going out to do. When you're ready, gently guide yourself up with your opposite hands. Facing the front of the room. An easy pose. An easy pose is either cross leg, lotus, sitting on your butt, whichever one you like. Hands over your heart center. The light in me honors and adores the light in all of you. Thanks for watching Kayla and I today. 
Face your thumbs to your third eye center. And you walk forward, walk in our practice. Namaste.